Hey there YouTube, it's Matt Bowler and welcome to this video with nine autographed Pittsburgh Pirates photos and these are Pirates players from the 1960, 1971, and 1979 World Series teams. I purchased all nine of these off of an individual through a Pirates Facebook group and I'm really excited to show this to you. I honestly wasn't planning to show you this for a while because I have so many videos that I was planning to show for probably last me now through, let's see, I do once uh, every, I do a TTM video every Monday, I do another video on Wednesday and on the weekend, and um, yeah, I have enough to last probably through March, but I had to do this because I saw this amazing episode of Inside Pirates Baseball. Those of you who are local, you know the deal here with Inside Pirates Baseball. Um, it's like the show that the Pirates do half hour segments during the Pirates season every, you know, they switch it up every few weeks, and then outside the season they do some as well that might be a half hour or an hour well my buddy ed contacted me saying you know he said hey on friday at nine o'clock there's this inside pirates best ball called clemente's departure you really should watch it it was an hour and a half long and it felt like it was five minutes long i absolutely was amazed by it and um yeah those people in pittsburgh you know value and appreciate Roberto Clemente um, and I'm hopefully you know the people who appreciate baseball do as well I know the younger generation may not be as familiar but uh if you're in Pittsburgh you are brought up knowing everything he did um, not just on the field but off the field as well and it was beautiful all the former teammates talking so I thought well <laughs> pretty much most of the people in this video were on this show as well plus and then uh and then last night i woke up and i got some more subscribers and i realized i got a shout out so hey thank you angry old man shout out right back at you a link for his channel is in the description below he's got a bunch of subs he also has a bunch of good content he does purchase videos and ttm videos and he likes to talk the background of every person that he has which i'll be honest sometimes i skip ahead a little bit because i'm not the most patient person ever but anyway let's show you these videos and Thank you for doing that. He, he's a nice guy. Don't let that name fool you. He's actually a nice guy. Uh, anyway, there are six players, nine autographs total, and I'm going in order of what I would consider to be least favorite to most favorite. Nothing against John Candelaria, but he's kind of grumpy whenever he you see him at autograph signings, which he's really cool about doing that. He comes back to Pittsburgh to greet the fans, to be with his fellow teammates, and he's really cool about doing signings with the Pirates, you know, for the fans. But dang, he has this odd sense of humor. He's kind of grumpy. That being said, man, was he an amazing human being. It was sad to see him tearing up talking about Clemente and the whole situation. So um, in any case, John Clandelaria, 1979 World Series pitcher. He had a no-hitter <laughs> as well. And uh, he pitched forever, like almost 20 years in the Pirates. Or uh, almost 20 leagues in the bigs. 20 years in the big leagues, I most of them, you know, like the first half of his career was with the Pirates. He also finished with the Pirates for a year. And then we have Bill Verdon in this classic old dugout pose. Love it. Signed on the bright spot. Thank you. Some people like to joke, signed across his crotch. Well, you know, that's the brightest part of the photo. It's cool he signed there. He spent a lot of times in the big leagues as a player and a manager. I don't think he was ever... Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, he did win the 1960 World Series. He was the NL Rookie of the Year. That's right, National League Rookie of the Year uh, back in 55. So that's cool. He's also a really good TTMer. I send to him probably two, three times a year. So that much, I alternate donations with him. Um, next up, I have three autographed photos of Dick Grote. Best regards, Dick Grote. So this was pretty sweet. I mean, Dick Grote is an outstanding athlete, outstanding Western Pennsylvania athlete. Uh, yeah, he, he had a big year in 1960. He was a World Series champ. He was National League MVP. bunch of All-Star games. I think when I looked it up, there was eight All-Star games. But um, not only is he in the College Baseball Hall of Fame, but he's also in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. Two-sport athlete, two-sport star. Uh, I think it was Duke he played for. I, don't quote me on that. Um, you know, he also did radio show uh, for Pitts men's basketball for a while too but that's a nice cool action shot look at this beautiful old time photo here that's so cool
And we have another one of him looking like he's kind of grumpy. <laughs> uh, nuts. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mr. Groat, that's so great. Thank you. Big, big sports star, Western Pennsylvania sports member there. Um, next up, Elroy Face. Two of them. The Baron. He was a 1960 World Series member. <clears throat> and... He's been really cool, really nice. I've met him a number of times in person. Look at that photo. That's, that is beautiful. He, he was a multiple All-Stars, six All-Stars. He went 18 and 1. He went 18 and 1. And he also, like, has a ton of games that he appeared in. All with the Pirates. And a bunch of uh, wins uh, as a reliever. Like, the most. I think it was almost 100. Like, 90-something. 90 90-something 90 wins as a reliever. Uh, lots of saves as well as a reliever. So I got two photos signed by him. Beautiful autograph. He's a real good TTMer as well, just like Dick Grote and Bill Verdon. Look at that. Right across the baseball. We got two more players to show you. I really like Manny Sanguian. He was a member of the 71 and 79 World Series teams. Three-time All-Star. He was traded from the Pirates to the A's for their manager, Local man, Chuck Tanner. <laughs> and then the following season, he was back with the Pirates and won the World Series in 79. And Chuck Tanner was the manager for the 79 team. But he's so nice. He's been really cool. He has his Manny's Barbecue stand at PNC Park, which I don't know if he'll ever appear at that again because of the health situation. But he'll sign a couple cards every time. He's so nice. And then a sentimental favorite here goes out to Steve Blass. Kind of the smallest, crappiest autograph. <laughs> the only one in black ink and real tiny, but Steve Blass, not only, you know, he was a 1971 World Series member, champion. He pitched a complete Game 7. He won Game 7, complete game. He had an air complete game in that series, I think. But he also spent 60 years with the team. And I enjoyed listening to him. He was, uh, you know, on the TV... On the radio, there's like four different guys they would switch around, you know. And man, Steve Blast kind of became that grumpy older person who would just tell like it is, but had amazing stories and had a big heart. Spent 60 years with the Pirates organization, retired not too long ago, and it was beautiful. Um, following the 2019 season, he was done. Just like how Tacolvi had, you know, Kent Tacolvi Teak had spent a long time with the Pirates, well, and had retired. This couple seasons before that, then Steve Blast did as well. 60 years with the team. So um, he sometimes can be a little bit grumpy in person too, but he's also been really nice in person as well. He's a great guy. I appreciate it a lot. So uh, yes, um, nine autograph photos I purchased. I paid about, a, I paid 12 bucks a photo for it when it was all said and done. Uh, you know, no tax, no, the shipping was thrown in. So I was very happy with that. So that was a nice big purchase. I've been just, just kind of saving and figured, oh, I'll show it whenever I get a lull in my videos, need something different. Well, this brought that up. I mean, Steve Blass was so emotional in that. John Candelaria was so emotional. Manny Sanguian was so emotional. Manny Sanguian went into the water just searching and searching for him. Like, not safe water. Sharks, undertow, he didn't care. He wanted to find it. Oh, my gosh. It was so sad. But so touching at the same time. So well done. This needs to not just be a, re a local thing. This needs to be, like, everywhere. This was beautiful. Anyway, and, of course, thank you for the shout-out. That also prompted me to, like, well, I'm going to make a video on the spot. Let's throw him in there. So, yeah, I do a TTM video every Monday. I also upload another video on Wednesday and on the weekend, so usually on Saturday, but, you know, it's all good. But um, I appreciate those of you who subscribe to my channel. I also appreciate those of you who comment below. Let me know down below what you think, uh, and um, I always appreciate if you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.